Let me know if you guys can tell where I am right now. It's probably pretty dark. Let's see if we can brighten this up. Should I get my uh, shh, 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 box shh, shh, light shh, shh. out? Let me know if you can guess where we are. I'm not telling you, but it does feel strangely dead in here. <laughs> Jake, I just wanted to say uh, your camera setup is really rad. I do everything on my phone. Yours, and then I can never see. Like you're, you can, you have the little flippy screen where you can see what you're doing, and it's a nice. See, I can see myself now. Y usually, I'm just like this. Here, here's what it looks like. You ready for this? Yeah. Well, let's be Jake. Hey guys, Jake Reed here. That's what it looks like. Oh, it feels so that impersonal. Was, that was very meta. Yeah. Of us to do that. Listen. Not like Zuckerberg meta, but you know. So, um, we're back in Jake's amazing studio. We're here. Um, what's, what's new here? I, I see some new things right here. What? These look new. What are we checking out? These, uh. Oh, these PMCs? Your boombox is new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got some new speakers. Do people call them monitors or speakers? They're speakers, right? I don't know. I always think of monitor, monitors a screen. They're whatever. I don't know, the boomy things. They're the loud They're the things that make makers. the sound comes out of. Links in the description. Um, no, I had one of my one of my film composer, uh, engineer mixing guy friends it was like, you know, nothing against your uh, KRKs or whatever, the v, what, VXTs. Mm-hmm. It's like nothing against those, but I, I had to save my pennies for a while, but they um they made a big difference. They sound really good. I don't mm. know how I I mean, I'm not like a they just sound better. They just sound really good to me. They sound tighter. My room has a low ceiling. See, I can touch it. Yeah, I'm actually holding my camera at my waist right now. This is a <laughs> stand all the way up. And what about these? These look nice. Mm. Yeah. Okay, here's how it all started. I used to just have a bunch of these 500 series guys. Okay. Uh, which sound great. I mean, well, when I first started, I should say, <laughs> when I first started, people are always like, how do you have all this stuff? I first started with a Digi 002. Mm. That was the first interface I had like in 2009. And it, By then it was already obsolete. Um, and, it, and that, for those who don't know, was your iLock. Was it? Yeah, there was no iLock then. It was, you just couldn't use Pro Tools without your interface. I think by the time I got a Digi 002, they already had iLocks, because that's when I got the current iLock that I have. I've always had the same one. Oh, is it blue? Is it the blue one? The clear blue one? Or is it no, black? it's black. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, but like I said, when I got my Digi 002, it was already obsolete. It's, that's just what I had to start with. Yeah. And I had four mics. Um, so that's what I started with, was just using the built-in pre's in that interface. And then one of my bass player friends in town was like, hey, I'm selling my lunchbox and a Neve 1073 500 series preamp. So this one right here, that was the first one I got. I only had one, I didn't even have two. And I was like, well, what am I gonna use this on? All of the things. Like you can only choose one at a time. Just record your kick it, kick in mic first. Well, I play all the drums, Andrew, at the same time. Well, you guys slow down. If you got one pre, you... yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Just <laughs> takes a little longer. I'm doing the I'm doing the pre-chorus one on the kick actually. In mic. So one time I used to study with Peter Erskine, and I remember when I was studying with him, he did an Al Di Miola record. And he was, and it's like jazz. It's like fusion-y, like jazz stuff, you know? Okay. And they were like, yeah, they literally made me record each of my limbs separately. Oh my God. So he like only did the ride cymbal, then only did the hi-hat. Yep. Then only did the, <laughs> oh my God. like not even like, uh, we're only gonna do kick and snare. Like yeah. usually with, with pop stuff, a, a lot of times this happens to me where they're like, can you just do kick and snare or like only do kick and then we'll overdub toms, and then we'll do crash cymbals separately, or whatever. Yeah. Like, but this was uh, separating limbs. Yeah, that's too much. Unless you just have one pre. 
So I, I guess you could use, you could just use only the one Neve. So eventually I got two. I got the second one here. That, those are the first two I had. So I was like, oh, kick and snare, cool. And then I got two more. And I was like, oh, cool. I can do overheads now. Yeah. So that's what I had. And then that was, you know, years and years go by. I sound old. <laughs> Time is a funny thing, right? Because it's so there's a lot weird. of it and it goes by fast. So fast. And it just gets faster. But then you look back and you're like, that was half of my lifetime ago already. No cap. What does no cap mean? No, uh, uh, no caption? I know what it means. I don't. No cap. You guys know what it means. See, I don't know. Tell Jake, because he doesn't know. I'm old. But I for sure know what it means. No. No chance. No, uh, no chance. It means no chance. Uh, no cap, dude, just. There's so many so, things I. So old. Dude. I'm so lost right now. On God. Anyway, so I, I had these four. That was what I had. And then I eventually fill up the whole 500 series. And then I was like, you know what? I want to like, I want to be able to just make stuff sound as close to a finished product as I can, right? Okay. Um, because the way things work now, there's, there's just not huge budgets anymore. So like, if I can send something to a mixer and they don't have to spend a ton of time dialing in just the kick sound or you know, dialing in just the snare sound. So that's why I was like, I gotta start getting full channel strips. Ooh. You know, I do a little bit, I, it's not like I'm doing crazy EQ curves or anything, but I am like, you know, if I can add some low end, maybe add a little top end to a kick drum sound if it needs that or whatever. Um, that was my goal with having full channel strips. And to be honest, I did, well, I did like an AB. Tell the people. I think it was like three years ago now. Tell the when people. I got, when I first started getting these. I also didn't buy all of these at the same time because that would be insane. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Just, I don't. Just say, say it with conviction. Well, I'm not gonna say anything with conviction, but I will say this. No. Um, there's something about having these power supplies. Like each one of these power supplies equals two preamps, right? Yes. And there's some, I, maybe it's just something about having more power. Maybe one of your viewers is an actual electrical uh, electrical engineer. Maybe Tim Allen will let us know. More power. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Hey man. I think more power, it, it just sounds. More better? I like it more. More power, more I, better. It's hard to say, we were just talking about this. It's hard to say if something's better, like. There's what, no, there's no such thing what does better. better mean? I mean, I I played on a lot of really great recordings using these guys. You know, yeah. you don't need. I don't know. You don't need the stuff. You don't need the stuff. Why are they? Jake is giving away. I'm oh. giving away <laughs> all of my stuff. You don't need any of this stuff. You don't need drums. Just use just use samples. There's no such thing as better. I'm giving all this away. Just use a sample pack. Got some interesting mixed mix of drums here. Um, oh, that just happens to be what I had set up last. Do you, um, there's a lot of, is it called damping? It's a lot of damping. Damping? Dampening? That's what, so I say dampening, someone in the comments, you know, the experts are in the comments. <laughs> uh, one of the people that knows more than me said, um, it's not dampening. There's not water in your drums. It's damping. You could like play some, maybe some bossa nova music right now while I'm thinking about that. Here's the thing about words. <laughs> when you say, <laughs> when, <laughs> when you say dampening versus damping, people know what you're talking about. Of course they do. It's the intent, yes. right? Yeah. It's I, the intent. And I think he's wrong. Yeah, I do use water in my drums. Wow, look at this. I've had those. Look at this setup here. Okay, you're not you're not even using the AEA bar. Last time I was here. No, no, it's right here. Not that bar. You had another AEA bar. Oh no no, I have the um Manfrotto triple mic holder. That's what I was using last time. Really? Because I just got an AEA bar because I thought that's what you were using. 
You should have texted me, bro. This video is sponsored by Sweetwater. And I just got this AEA bar. It's the same one Jake uses. It is so cool. It's a 17 inch bar that has all the measurements and cool stuff, but it's uh, fantastic for complicated mic setups like this. This is pretty complicated, but there's a link to it in the description. Check it out. So you just took it down. So anyway, I don't have that one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my messy other room? Yeah. It's really oh messy. yeah, this messy. is different. My friend. Look at this. Shelf. My friend Adam Criscow, who built my desk in there. Yeah, this is a nice shelf, dude. Yeah. Man. It's You've cool. got like six, like five or six snares here. Got a few, but they all sound different. Again, going back to what we were talking about with the EQs and stuff and how, like when you just have stuff dialed and like ready to go, I do that with snares. So like, I find a snare, like the, these are both, these are all kind of dampened. Like a lot of these other ones are totally wide open and ringy and they do their thing. Um, but like I have a few different sort of dampened, damped, damping, Dampening. Damped. Damped? But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you say it? <laughs> I have some muffled. Maybe we'll just say, you don't say muffed. Muffling, muffled. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but like I have this drum that's just always, oh, there's paper on the bottom. So it'll say, well, it sounds like this. <laughs> oh, cool. No, but I got to take the snare. The, oh, I, do that so that? I do that so all the snares aren't ringing. That's a good idea. But for instance, big first, um, I just how it, I just have different sounds ready to go because I don't, I don't have like, you know, an yeah. extra, I'm just trying not to spend that much time. Like if a, if a producer's on the phone or someone's over, like, hold on, I got a two, oh, hold on, give me just a few <laughs> minutes to dial in a snare sound. Yo, know, I just have stuff that like, it's like this, I know, your song needs that sound. It's already ready to go. It's in the ballpark. Then I can make small adjustments mm. to that sound. But it's like if I have a good starting point that gets me in the right character for the song, a lot easier than like, oh, I have, wait, guys, hold on, hold on. This, this is only gonna take a few minutes, but I got, I got this drum here. It's deep, it's wood, like that one. Hold on, let's hear what it sounds like. Which sounds cool. But it's like, I don't want to have to spend. You don't want to have to. Oh, it's like, okay, let me muffle it. That's cool. But then it's like, then I got to start tuning it down to get like the gushy. Ooh. Low end, like all that, Ooh. you know, to get that right vibe happening. That was nice. I just, I, I don't want to, thank you. I don't want to spend a bunch of time re-tweaking stuff. Uh, so that's why people are like, well, how come you have so many snares? Wait, hold on. Can we can we recut this? I'm gonna say, man, you have like you've got so many snares, and and here's what you're gonna say to me, okay? Can you guess what I'm gonna tell you to say? No. You're gonna turn to me and you're gonna say, it's not a hobby. <laughs> hey, dude, why do you have so many snares? That's a lot of snares. It's not a hobby. Was that too quick? How's the timing on that? That's <laughs> what I do. Yeah. This is a 50s Gretsch. Still has the original snares on oh, it. Look how. Wait, let me put the snares on. You know what this snare is? This snare is a boomer. Okay, boomer. This is cool, man. Yeah. I don't know how old this thing is. You know, it looks like the font from the Super Dead Drums 2 pack. Super, oh, did you say Super Dead Drums Volume 2? Super, yeah, the Volume 2 pack. It looks volume like the two. font. There's a set, because you had the first one. Yeah, but the I just put the second one out. Yeah, the Super Dead Drums Volume 2. It's that font reminded me of it because we were just listening to it. Yeah. And it was like blowing my mind. But the artwork and the it's on your website. If you look what, at my what, website. What was your website again? J 
jakereadmusic.com. 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 I am a girl dad, by the way. You can see the, you can see the font on the artwork for the new drum sample pack, Super Dead Drums 2. It looks like that, but it sounds amazing. Thank you. It sounds incredible. I appreciate that. I can't wait to use it. I spent a lot of time on it. I spent, I think it took me. What's it called again? Super Dead Drums Volume 2. I spent a lot of time on that pack. Yeah, it, people don't understand. Maybe, maybe some people do. It takes, to it, do it right, it sucks. To do it right, it sucks. It hurts. To do. So you better, you better like it. <laughs> well, here's the thing, okay? It, yeah. We all think about like, as drummers, as, well as, music, as musicians who are trying to get better at our craft, playing in time with a metronome, right? Mm. Here's the thing about a sample pack. It doesn't matter how well you play in time. When you're making loops, it has to loop. Yes. It has to be able to loop back around. It so, can't cut off on the first kick. The first kick cannot be cut off. Like even if you're even if you're like two milliseconds in front of or behind the beat, you can't yeah, have that. Can't do it. I remember reading this a long time ago when I was uh, doing my doctorate. Uh, I think it's two milliseconds is like the smallest amount of time that the human ear can distinguish. So any discrepancy that's lower than that, you're not gonna be able to tell. So if you have a beat that starts like three seconds, like if you if you tend to lay back or tend to rush, mm -hmm. if you're like more than three milliseconds ahead of or behind the beat, you're gonna hear it. Um, but the thing is with a loop, for it to properly loop, it has to start right on right the on. grid yeah. where you chop it. Are there loops in your Super Dead Drums there's Volume a lot. 2 pack? There's, there's like 500 something, 500 plus, I can't remember. There's a lot, there's a lot of loops. I'm so sorry. Your loops are really good, the funky. Thank you. Could, could we do a discount code with my name? Of course. If people, You wanna do it? You wanna do another discount code? Could we do that? What do you think? I'm down. Are you doing the Zoom zoomies? Yeah, this is the, that's what this is happening. I'm down. Fine. So, so if people Let's know, shake on it. <laughs> if, if people use my name, which is Andrew Masters, when they buy your pack, you'll give them five bucks off. Andrew Masters, full name, all caps, all caps, no spaces, no spaces, no cap, no cap. Now you get it, bro. Let's do it. No cap. Do Andrew Masters a checkout. <laughs> I don't know how much weight I gained sitting in that chair for the past six weeks. <laughs> Just, uh... <laughs>